Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we will be working with one of the greatest feature uh, which is most weighted uh, within Microsoft Azure. So if you are the Windows admin or Active Directory admin, you would love to work with your organization unit. For example, you see here I have a multiple OUs and the structure was, you know, very classically it was designed. And now you can work very similar kind of you know, structure within Microsoft Azure. All these days when we try to compare what's the difference between your Windows Active Directory and Azure Active Directory, we used to say that hey you don't have a organization unit kind of you know, structure. Uh, that's the first word we used to you know, say. Of course you know we also talk about you know cloud native and the protocols that are supported completely different than uh, uh, Azure or the cloud native as well as the uh, Windows environment. Now either way the one of the uh, f uh, greatest feature uh, which is very useful for the IT admins to manage their objects uh, especially for the user objects and the group objects you have an option now within Microsoft Azure very similar to uh, organization unit that's called administrative unit so again they continue the similar naming format so that it's so easy for us so to do that I'll just go to my Microsoft Azure portal and go to Microsoft Azure Active Directory and then you see here you have uh, administrative units which is a preview so this is where you can create multiple units let's say the structure I want to create maybe a country based like USC and I can give here a meaningful uh, description for example all user accounts uh, from USC and then click add that would actually as the uh, one of the uh, similar to OU or in, in other words actually we call it here as the administrative unit so like that you can create multiple uh, units uh, like for example India here I created and inside this uh, you have actually you can't uh, go for the nested at this point of time uh, but who knows you know in the future you may get it but for now there's no nested uh, administrative units uh, which you cannot create here but you can add the members you see here if I just go to USC and then I can add members it's simply uh, I can find any of the objects like say let's say uh, Sims or Maxi or Evans these accounts I want to you know, add it uh, to this OU or in other way uh, in a Azure uh, as you was its administrative unit so now I have uh, units here so the same thing um, uh, it's easy way to uh, manage so well, let's go back to the one of these administrative units in this case USC and see here the members are available and you can also perform some kind of you know actions um, as a bulk remove bulk add also you can perform some certain kind of you know actions uh, here uh, within this so whatever the options you are performing that also can be tracked from here so these things uh, you can definitely manage from your uh, PowerShell as well as the CLI and also from the GUI I hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this